There's a balcony on the machine. Look at that. Like nobody's ever come through here. I was here last year, but now I'm going deeper. Like this is a deeper dive, man. been here before right I have more experience with the brand and Heller is just crazy like all the big companies Caterpillar Cummins these guys have hundreds of Heller just making products it is so insane and I want to like I want to show you the bigness I want to show you the craziness but I also want to take you on this crazy journey of how they actually make a spindle how the, the spindle is machined and and how they do it in-house so we're going to take you through the whole process of how that ends and like bring it all full circle if you love manufacturing if you love this industry if you if you believe in it today we have a treat for you because this tour is gonna be like unlike anything you've ever seen before we're at heller man germany let's go baby Awesome things about Heller is their ability to make their own spindles and they do it in very few operations so you see the raw material is right here the raw material actually goes into this big old mill turn over here and they basically soft turn everything after that first operation then this is this is what it looks like right here then it goes from this stage boom and then it gets case hardened and then it ends up looking like this right here and once it's case hardened, basically it goes back into the machine. It do hard turning, bring in most of the features, and then you see it right here. So this guy, like these spindles right here, they're HSK 63s, and their tolerances are, are are like high level. So when you actually look at it, the diameter would be like 1.5 microns. We're talking everything is absolutely perfect. From the big old mill turn after the case hardening, the machining, all that, then it comes over to the Studer S41 to come into absolute perfect tolerance. When it comes to grinding, even even Heller, like Heller is amazing, but they bring in the Studer. That's the Studer S151. That is a monster machine right there, and you can see like the the parts are just incredible. The tolerances they're hitting like microns. It is unbelievable. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. We're in the spindle assembly area. This is where they're taking the spindles and all the pieces that go with the spindle and they're assembling everything, inspecting absolutely all facets of the process. So when they bring the spindle in and they're getting ready, they basically grab the spindle, they put it on one of the parts right here and then right here, kind of like tool management, you know, they, they basically bring down a box that has all the tools for that spindle. It's like the supply chain for the spindle. Goes onto the cart, then the cart comes over and they simply start building it up, putting on all the different pieces, go onto all the different spindles. And they have different spindle sizes like this and they just keep building it up through the entire process. They're inspecting absolutely everything. Once they're assembled and they're, they're dialed, they actually, similar to like tool holders, they go through a balancing system. But instead of like a tool holder where you're actually putting in these small little screws and stuff, depending on how it's balanced um, in one, one spot, on the spindles, it's in two spots. So the, the spindle has to be absolutely balanced on the front and the back. So this guy right here is a balancing machine. You can see a belt right here. This belt spins and it double checks the balancing on both sides. Once the balancing is done, then they take the spindle and actually hook it up to the motor. Uh, you have this like tool holder over here that's sticking out. Then they're basically putting an indicator on this long shaft. They spin it, check the roundness, check everything and make sure that it is absolutely perfect all the way throughout. I believe last year they did like 1,300 spindles. Now they're equipped to do over 2,000 spindles in-house at this Heller plant. Crazy. Once they're finished here, they actually 
come on to this station and run the spindle. So over here, they're gonna actually uh, place the spindle uh, on this table and they're gonna run it up to the maximum speed in this particular case is 18,000 RPMs. They're gonna check the, the heat the, in the bearings. They're gonna actually check the vibration. They're gonna analyze all of it and run it for five hours straight just to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. And once it's all checked out and it's perfect and documented, then it would actually leave here and be good to go. Oh. It's a mountain of a machine. Heller FB 16,000. 16,000. Oh, like it's like a building over here. And then, and then you come over here and you got the MC 670. It's even bigger. It's like stories high. Crazy tool. Look at that door, like, boom. Oh. And then you come over here. It's like a car wash for like diesel trucks or something like big things are going through. There's a balcony on the machine. Look at that. Dude, I would rather be here than in like Florida or something. Having a beer watching production. You know, if you're in Germany, you gotta go with the German culture, man. Few moments later. See, now I'm like, I'm just like fascinated. So the way the spindles get assembled, the way they get tested, then they come over here. And of course, this bad boy is the housing where the spindle's gonna go. And you see the spindle over here. And you can see this guy is actually gonna get assembled right into this guy. And then they're gonna take it over here and they're gonna test it again for heat, for vibration, like running everything throughout. This right here is like a fourth axis, like a big old horizontal spindle. And then as you come through here, um, we come over here and like, they actually bring the crane over. They put the entire unit, they lock it down and this is a workstation where they actually put everything together, make sure everything's absolutely perfect. Check out this bad boy, you know what that's for. So you saw like the horizontal over here, but when you get over to the five axis, like the CP6000, the berries running at the shop, the way that head rotates, this is your bad boy right here. Pretty cool also is like, this is a rotary for the CP6000 and uh, they got 1,400 pounds right here. So they'll actually put like big weight on it. They'll spin it for a long time. Spinning that much weight, they're actually testing everything and making sure everything is good. Once they take the weight out, they're gonna go back in and indicate and double check everything that there was no movement, that everything was absolutely perfect. And that's what you see here at Heller. Like they're building their own products. They're testing it. They're assembling it. They're testing it through the entire process, through the finished machine that's all assembled, then they're making parts and then they're testing it and double checking it and, and that's why they're so rigid. You see Barry crash the CP6000. Boom. That is not what we wanted. You know, that was just like a crazy mistake because he had like a bunch of short tools that he zeroed and the one drill was too long and he just made an error in judgment. But look at that, it crashed. People thought we faked it. It wasn't a fake. He crashed the machine and simply hit reset and, and kept going because they're so rock solid. These guys for decade in and decade out, they just run, man. So, so crazy. I was talking about the CP6000 and the way that head just angles, right? Check this out. This is for the 8000. This is like for the machines that we saw at Heller USA up in Michigan and uh, monsters. I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys can tell, but like this guy, it's, it's an absolute beast. So you have the CP6000 and CP8000 I just showed you, and then check this out. Boom. For the CP10000, monster. Oh, so good. So this bad boy is like actually going into this rotary right here. Like, oh. Check out how big that is. Big, boom, so good. Now you see the spindles and the rotaries, but what controls it, right? One of the cool things about Heller is they make their own electrical cabinets, like literally from scratch. So we got like the different panels over here. Heller makes over 600 cabinets a year. Now one thing that I just, I noticed when I walked past here was like, Oh man, Cinemaric Siemens. I love that control. 
I use the Hype 9, the Fanec, Siemens. Siemens is my absolute favorite. It's so smooth and so fast. And we're doing education on Siemens. So now if you buy a machine with Siemens, you can actually just go to our academy and you'll be able to just learn every facet of those controls. Boom. Check this out. Making cabinets. And then by the time you get up here, you're dealing with the full cabinets. Once the cabinets are 100% put together, then they're tested like anything else. And then you actually come to this facility over here where you have like the big cabinets. Boom, one here, one here. They put it on a simulator. And basically make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. So now they're actually taking the column and spindle assembly that we saw get all locked in place. And then they're gonna actually put it on the casting mode. Boom, so good, huh? Now you have the spindle and the housing assembly locked to the column, which is now locked to the bottom monster casting that is like made on one of the biggest machines I've ever seen in my life. I've seen big like gantries and different things, but that, that machine over there, that was a monster. Oh man, before we leave, I just look at this. I just came into a special R&D assembly area, top secret, and uh, we're getting the first look at the new machine right here. This is the F6000. They got different machines, different sizes, but like, check out how beautiful this is. So this is like the CP6000, but the new and improved version, and like everything about it is improved. And even like, look at how nice that is. Like, it's so beautiful. Boom, so this is the palette right here, and just beautiful, beautiful stainless everywhere. Crazy chip evacuation. I can't, they're gonna be running this machine and hogging chips at EMO 2023 in just a little while, and it's gonna be absolutely insane. But uh, everything about Heller has just advanced. So the CP6000 that I have, this is basically the same machine, but just on steroids, everything. It has so many more options and all of that. Big old monster spindle. Now what's cool is uh, the spindle that we just looked at, the new spindle over there that they're making, that's in this crazy torque, crazy power, crazy rigidity. Like the whole assembly, you guys saw it. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's like, this is a platform just for assembly, but like that platform's coming out. And look at the chip evacuation. Look at how wide it is. All the chips are going to the back of the machine. So basically, you just have crazy clearance right here. Rotary right there. Amazing. The same flips, as you know. Flips up, flips down, flips all around. I just love it too, like so clean. Like you look around the whole outside of the machine, it's super clean. Everything absolutely dialed. I'm, ex I'm excited because this machine right here, not this one, but one of the very first ones for production is coming to Texas to our facility. I already put my name on it. I'm super excited and we're gonna run it. We're gonna test it. We're gonna cut everything, crazy hard materials. And I'm excited, man. We're gonna put the, the baby beast. We just say baby because it's like, it's a brand new machine. So it's like the baby beast, but it is a monster. Leave no doubt, it is an absolute monster. So beautiful, right? So right before I go, I just wanna say, if you love the content, if you love everything, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you're gonna be at EMO 2023 in Hanover, Germany, come say hi. You can see this machine in action on Tuesday. Come see me at the Heller booth. We're gonna be cranking chips. I wanna meet all of you guys. Come to the Heller booth on Tuesday to meet Titans of CNC, me and some of my guys. And uh, love to meet you guys, see you guys there. Boom, I'm out. Germany, baby, let's go.